Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I am doing some battery unboxings for my DJI Mini SE. Now, it uses the same batteries as the Mini 2, as you can see here. And it also looks a lot like the Mini 2. It's because it literally has the Mini 2 body, but with a Mini 1 camera and a Mini 1 controller and the internal system. So now I'm going to unbox these batteries. I'm only going to do one for the, for the video. So I'm just going to pause real quick. Okay, so I have managed to open this very strong and sticky tape here. And uh, now let's see what's inside. So here we have this little pack of gel that just keeps moisture out of the box. And then here we have the battery. And you just have this little manual here. But the uh, same goes for the Mini SE rules. So let me just show you my drone again. Here he is. It's a DJI Mavic Mini SE. Okay, so here is where the battery comes as I have said in my unboxing video. So now I'm just gonna open it very carefully. Unfold the legs. There. Okay, so here is my drone folded out. And now here is my battery. Look at this battery. This is the Mini 2 battery and it is also the same for the Mini SE. And here is my original battery that I have got with the drone. I bought the, the base combo as you might have seen in my unboxing video. So basically all that I got with my actual drone was this that I have in my two hands here. And this battery. And then a box with some extras. Now what I have bought extra so far was the now the two extra batteries. And these are landing gear that you put on the on the drone. And this here is my case that originally originally came from my dad's package, but uh, he gave this to me. He has got uh, a new one ordered. So, and now here is my new battery. And uh, now I'm gonna do the firmware update also in detail with you. And then I hope you enjoy the rest of my video. Okay, so here is the other battery and now, now I'm gonna charge it. And uh, then I'm gonna do the firmware updates. Okay, so here my batteries are charging. This one that is full. As you can see it has four lights illuminated. And here is the other one, the two new ones, these two. I have just put them in my charging hub, which I have also bought separately. And now I'm going to give them time to charge. And then when they're done, I will do the firmware updates and whatever else is required. Two hours later. Okay, so now I am doing the firmware update. As you can see, it is 17% so far, now 18, 19, 20. So this is all real time, it's not like sped up or anything.
Okay, so here we are at 50% of the update. Okay, so there we are done, but I think that might have been a drone firmware update for the drone itself, not for the battery. I think the battery just doesn't have an update, but sometimes they do have an update though. Okay, so... If you see this, don't worry about it. It is just for some insurance and all of those stuff to give some safety to your drone if it like crashes or flies away or gets any damage. Now I'm gonna show you just how to check for the firmware updates. And as you can see, it's up to date. And also the FlySafe database updates are also up to date. Okay, so now I'm gonna just put the other battery in and check for that too. Here I just make sure that all the firmware is up to date for the drone and the battery. As you can see right here it is. Okay, so I have put in the other battery too. And it also has no firmware updates it looks like. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.